That's right. Final countdown. The Bible says what, bitches? You can fucking cheer. Follow me, if you will, gender, gentle viewer. It seems I took the Fisher Price chair into the ring. Oh, fuck. Let's see if it works. No gaffs, no botches. All right, we're good. We're good. Welcome again to a very long do episode of Baffle Says What, featuring the one and only Eric Drake, the Baffle Man. Now, I've got a lot to talk about, but I'm not going to bore you like another Southside player segment, so I'll keep it relatively short. First of all, I haven't been in the game much of late. Rush beat me for the belt way long ago, before he gave it to Humberto, due to an injury. Fuck you, daddy. So, uh, but you know, as much as I can go ahead and, and burn Rush about the shoulder, at least he comes to the shows. Unlike a couple other people we know about. One being Justin. We still haven't seen him forever. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead. WMWA killed him. We took him off storylines. That's a shoot. And so, uh, I mean, I mean, an ex-girlfriend of his Drops her panties for the Wings guys more than Justin's been coming to fucking shows. Let's just put it like that. Is it true, guys? I'm on fire. Anyways, that leads me to another person here. Big C. What the fuck? Where the fuck are you? You lose the match or two? You can't show your face in public anymore? Is that how it goes? He wears a veil. I mean, shit. I've lost matches to almost everyone in the back there. But, I've also won that Supreme, the Tag Team, the fucking heavyweight belt, and we're not going to mention the First Blood title. No, no, we're not going to. So, Mr. Mr. Triple Crown here still comes on a daily basis, wins, lose, or draw, we don't have too many draw, but draws, still shows up and does his job, which leads me to my match tonight. Today, really, because it's the sun. Who the fuck says tonight? Um, going against Armani and Evan. Really? I know I've been losing matches, but I thank the powers that be that they can give me a simple match I can win. A simple triple threat against Evan, who, you know, we shouldn't even give him a name anymore. Olin 2. So I'm going against Olin 2 and Armani. And Ar Armani's been doing decent, don't get me wrong, but he's still a minority. And so, what more do I need to say? So, skipping on to that, I also got a shout out. Shout out, let me check my phone here. Make, make sure I get this right, because I don't fuck up on camera. Or if I do, I at least keep the camera rolling. A Mr. Mikey Do 465 Thanks for the support on YouTube. Drake appreciates you. Checked out some of your stuff there. It's very amusing as well. Please keep watching. Let me know personally if you think I'm doing something right or if I'm doing something wrong or you want to see me do a little something. Give anyone a shout out who likes Drake gives me some support on YouTube. So, let's see what I've covered. Big C and Justin, although that's a lot to cover. Covered Mikey, covered Rush. Well, Rush covered me, really beat me for the belt, so I... Whatever, I digress. What about Olin 2? Besides just giving him a new name, I really haven't burned him too much badly. He hasn't defended his belt once since getting it. What, two months ago? Is that really how a champion should act? Not defending whatsoever? I got my belts. I defend them every single fucking week. He gets a free pass. Is he going to beat the, the new title holder record? Is he going to go on for a year and whatever the fuck the record is? I'm not Rush. I don't know these shit. And is he going to have the fucking the record now? Is that how this shit's going to work? Well, if he keeps teaming up with Olin, he will. And uh, I guess that's all I got about to say. Thank you again, Mikey Do 465 for liking our YouTube. Please keep watching. Bafa says what? 
Hit the fucking music! Thank you. And I'll take this fucking chair out too. I, I clean up my shit. Again, if you didn't get the reference before, it's about stopping the matches during the middle because we fucked up a spot. About to start the triple threat match. Just want to point out the two thirds of this match, the wrestlers in this match, come out to seven deaths. 66.9%. Uh, yeah, 66.9%. I'd say, yeah. 66.6%. I'm a Julian. Anyways. Oh, Evan just smacked Eric Drake in the face. Worst punch in the world. <laughs> Evan's showing some balls. <laughs> I like go that. Why he go get him? I hope that guy shot something. Yo, Talking my it. homeboy hit him. <laughs> Drive by. What the fuck do I have to say? There's a punch. That wasn't homeboy. Oh, oh and an overhand chop right to Drake's chest. And uh, they're teeing off on Drake. Huge fucking shot by Evan Payne. Oh, delivering the pain. And uh, they're, they're gonna. Oh shit. Oh, trying to go for a scoop slam early in the match. Drake's not having any of that. That's th That'd be 300 pounds getting slammed, which Evan has done before, so we know we can do it. Armani taking it. Ar Armani, the newest wrestler to WWE, taking it to uh, Eric Drake, the two time heavyweight champion, who still runs the ropes like they're real. Yeah, sadly. There they I, go. I am joined by uh, our most colorful commentator, White Thunder. You call me colored? Colorful. Oh, uh, okay, there you go. How you doing? Double stomps. Evan Payne, the hybrid champion, and Ace Armani going to town on the second Triple Crown winner ever, Aaron Drake. Big man. Big, big man. Big man. Weak punches. <laughs> and the wishbone. That's not good. That's hate crime. Uh, I mean, I think, I don't know. It's not heat crime. I'm sorry. And I don't need to explain that. I think I've explained that plenty before. Nice punch. Semi decent forearm. Drake's been using forearms a lot lately. Well, his, his punches have probably been, been very heavily criticized as like. Oh, he actually ducked that because of the he got tripped up in the ropes, I think. Or he, oh, nice forearm to the back. He's nice. That I don't get. Oh, nice uh, spin kick to Drake. Levels him. Uh, that's Armani. that's Armani style. Still standing tall. Still standing tall. Big leg drop. Monstrous. Drake uh, shaking the cobwebs off. Still a little bit. You can tell how fucked up Drake is in the match by how fucked up his hair is, and it's getting there. Another spin what? kick. What heaven? Cleaning his clock right there into a cover. And Drake breaks up Armani's uh, cover. And then uh, Armani does the same. 
That's the problem with triple threat matches. There's a whole different uh, psychology you have to use while going into it. Rush, you want to explain? Yeah, the strategy is, I mean, you can team up all you want, or you can just beat the sh hell out of somebody the whole entire match, but at the end of the day, you still, you know, it's first pinfall wins a match. You can lose without even being involved in the pin, and uh, that makes it extremely challenging. You are correct, sir. Yes, sir. Whips off Armani. Comes back. Oh! Huge Samoan drop, and it levels Armani. That's a new move to Armani. I don't think he's ever been in the ring with Drake, so he's gonna get, have to get used to taking those. Those vicious uh, moves, they knock the wind right out of you. Well, look at two uh, Armani's facing here. He's facing the current hybrid champion, Evan Payne. Mm -hmm. And he's facing the, as you pointed out so clearly, the second Triple Crown winner, former heavyweight champion, Eric I beat Drake. him for the heavyweight championship. Yes, you did. Just I wanted everyone to know that. that match. Mikey Do, whatever you are watching this match, Drake's number one fan. I beat him. And I commentated. And, and he crazy. commentated. And I made him tap out. And he's going for the cover. And Evan it was there, ready for the breaking up of the pin. Evan has uh, become a, a, a phenomenal lackey to Brian O'Lynn, Commissioner Brian O'Lynn. And, uh. Yeah. Um, Evan just falls, and Armani happened to be there. Yeah, but uh, Evan Payne has become a, a phenomenal lackey to Brian O'Lynn, the commissioner. Oh. Doing his dirty work. You know, and it, it's paid dividends to uh, Evan Payne. He's got him more f further than what New Throwdown did. He's already yeah. won a championship. Uh, he was basically only added to that stable as a fourth member because the other fourth have, had failed before him. Very. So he was like a last choice. Do you think that uh, the power probably went to Olin's head? Oh, I think it's definitely going to his head. And you, need, you need people like me uh, to definitely uh, bring him down to uh, a realistic level. Dawson. Oh, Tim Jesus. Too. Dawson Dawson does it too, but he's a little more focused on Big C. Huge suplex. Levels Armani into the cover. Hooks One the far leg. Take another lanky guy. Drake is still outside the ring, and his, uh, he's all fucked up. Oh, Got a bunch of leaves on him. This is early September, so it's well, going to be happening. And it's a very nice day out. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Low 70s. Great day for a wrestling show. Great day for a wrestling show. See, everybody on YouTube, you guys should have been here. Watching Hell the yeah. Person. Huge 300 pound scoop slam to Drake. Monstrous power. Big, strong. Uh, big, strong uh, scoop slam by Evan Payne. The lengthiest motherfucker in WMWA at a whopping six foot three. Give or take. I, where I believe Becker. Becker, I don't know. I don't ever see him that much. Becker, me. Ah! Yeah, he's about. Becker's about six three and three, a half. So but still you him. still have to give Evan the credit for the tallest guy. Because he's been here the most. Yes, Evan has been here a lot more than Becker. Evan, <laughs> Evan coming off his rookie year, debuted last year. His opening, his first match was actually against Brian Olin for the Supreme Title. It's funny now because he's now uh, his lack. Of, Huge uh, kick to the the, the side of it, the ribs right there. Drake is still la laying down right now from that scoop slam. Armani's kind of taking control, honestly. Huge oh. suplex, very big. He hooked a leg. It was a semi fisherman until he got him up in the air. I think due to the lankiness of his the close long legs, leg. it broke it. <laughs> and Evan emphatically points the finger up while he gets the the, the arm up, arm and shoulder up, to keep this match going. Drake definitely needs to win, I think, the most, despite being the uh, biggest star of the three. He's also the most experienced, though. And I, you gotta... It would hurt him more than it would uh, than it would help uh, an Evan or Armani. But He's although Armani fighting. would love to get a, another win here, Armani and uh, Bouncer won a tag team match, and Ar that was Armani's first taste of victory last show. So, and he just made his debut two shows before that against C.J. Price in a great outing. Oh. But CJ actually bloodied him from the mouth, and he was still huge. You can tell this kid's a competitor, Armand, Ace Armani. And I think that's what WWE needs. We haven't gotten a lot of new guys this year, so I'm glad to see a new, new fresh blood coming in. Aren't you White Thunder? Extremely. You're extreme. Thank you. I tried to be. Most extreme commentator in WMWA. I'm here the most on... uncommon oh. commentator. What is that? Rising above one? Yes, sir. Number one. Ran out of adrenaline? It ran out of drilling. Well, he's Stop. feeling rough. Let's see it. He didn't see it. Oh. 
now Drake's standing tall for once in this match. That's, you know, a first, really. He needs to. He needs to establish some uh, power and, you, you know. Well, I'm, I'm just getting sick of these little blows. I, I think it's a uh, pretty lame tactic. The refs don't call it because they don't want to be responsible for a match getting thrown out the window. And the fact that every single match, it... it, it I don't All know right, why everyone's got such a hard time about Big C not being here. That just saves us about 15 low blows this show. Basically, oh! Oh my god, huge double drop kick to both men, right up against the ropes. Otherwise, you, you know, they definitely would have went outside. Uh, they both bouncing off the ropes, and Drake is still down. Money taking things into his own hands here. Flips him around. Huge backbreaker. Inverted backbreaker. Here's his better. One. Thank you. Out, oh, almost a long two count Yeehaw. there. He points up. You know, Brian Allen would be completely disappointed here if Evan didn't get a win. Oh, he, he definitely, oh, oh, oh nice oh, splash. Oh, oh, oh. Reminiscent of the frog, uh, the froggy splashes are that, the triple uh, frog splash. The triple frog splash that uh, Vigilante used to do back in the day. Yes. Alumni WWA. Yes. And uh, Drake is uh, getting back up to his feet. Still a little dazed in the corner. And Armani's taking it to him, trying to whip him off. Does so. And uh, huge stinger splash right there. Shade of Aaron. Bulldog, shade of Umberto. Trying to flip him over a cover, having a hard time. Drake is a heavy motherfucker. He gets him. Uh, but Evan was right like there. He tried to go for a pin right next to Evan. You well, know it's, it's it's too difficult to not only turn Drake over for the cover, but also drag him away from Evan when he Evan's just getting up. It just would have been too much. True. Can't say Armani made the oh, wrong for the call finish. there. Armani's fighting back. Yeah, he, uh, Evan oh! Evan leveled Adrian with his uh, his finishing maneuver right after the match that they had in that tag team last week and Did he? completely uh, <laughs> folded him up. Yeah, Adrian's like a human uh, or a slinky. Oh, uh oh. Drake Valley Driver, maybe? DVD? DVD? It's for you! See? Oh! Huge Drake Valley Driver to Armani. Into the cover. And oh, uh, Evan wasn't able to get the cover. Or right, break it up, and uh, Drake, Eric Drake, wins this match. We definitely needed it more than the newcomer, Armani. And uh, Evan's going to town on Drake right here. The hybrid champions uh, doing uh, Brian Olin's dirty work, but Drake's fighting back. Uh oh, Drake Drake whips him off. Uh oh, uh -oh. we're gonna get to see it. No. Nope. Oh, clothesline! I was hoping for a bop of a buster, man. I haven't seen one of those in a while. That's true. Oh, oh. huge club to the back of Drake. There's Brian Olin. Going on here? Who the fuck? Are you? Oh, and Brian Olin going to town on Drake. Oh. Huge chop. And Drake's fighting back. Drake's not gonna just let Hold this. Hold on, him a chinky bitch. Do what he's gotta do. He's going for I have, and he spins out of it and a club to the back. Ah. Armani down after that DVD. Oh. Air, uh, this is none of down. Armani's business, anyways. Ah. I don't know why he wanted to <laughs> cross the commissioner right now. The fact that there's also that chair that he brought in there still. I don't like where this is going with that chair right there. Looks like. Jesus. Who's gonna stop him? He's the commissioner. You can't get your paycheck. Get out of here. There's nothing the ref can really do. The ref gets paycheck. That chair's down. Oh. I don't like where this is going. He's setting up for something here. Evan's conscious. He's still out though. Oh Jesus. Is he gonna? He's not gonna do it. He's trying to fight out of it. Two punches to the gut, one of the forearm. Uh oh, I don't like where this is going. Oh, uh oh. Struggle of power here. Whips him off. Oh! Drop toe hold right across the the flat chair on the the mat. Shades of a fat nasty bastard. Well, Lynn did what he had to do. Well, he felt he had to do. Nice little skull print in this. He broke it, did it. Well, he bought it, so it's not my concern. He did what he had to do. Drake's been uh, getting the better of Brian Olin the last few weeks, and Olin finally gets a little bit of payback. Deep. At the price of his lackey. You would know that Drake won this match. Oh. He failed. Evan failed again. He's gonna fall.
fire, I mean, there's not so much good help around here. No. You can try backyard, but you fucking know it's not gonna be good. 